All right. Hello, everyone. So if you can, you can change the name. If you can't, it's not a problem at all. Just helps me call you the right name. So if I do call you the wrong name because your parents is on there, just feel free to uh, correct me. No problem. Um, maybe next time I can figure out how to show you how to do that easily. But for now, we'll just go with this. Um, so I'll give everyone a second to get set up. Oh, it's Vinny. What's up, buddy? Hi. <laughs> All Hi. right. Andy? Yes. My name is Leslie Jovanovich. My daughter Mira is here for your session. Um, this is my work computer, so I can't change the Zoom name if that's okay. No problem. With you. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. Okay. Thank you. Yep. All right, so it just, it just turned 4.30, um, so we'll get started. A couple things for everyone before we get going. So I have seven different things we're gonna do today, okay? So with the idea being we're gonna go really quick and, and try to move around really fast for like 35, 45 minutes. See, some of you are in your basement, some of you are outside. Um, wherever you're at, we'll make it work, okay? Uh, what you need again is soccer ball. Everyone have one of those? Let's see them, show them to the screen. Perfect. And then you need two items. I've got two rolls of tape. You can use whatever you want. And if you don't actually have items or you're outside or something, you can just kind of pick two different points. Ooh, stuffed animals, well played. Well played, okay. Um, and then the last thing is you need something to pass the ball again. So if it's like your couch or something, you might wanna make sure your parents are all good with it. So you're not smashing balls into things I don't want you to hit them into okay um and if you if you don't have something to pass it into maybe find a friend or a parent or something like that um if you do have questions don't be afraid to unmute yourself and ask them uh main goal of this session is to have a good time and get some touches on the ball and do a little bit of activity okay because I'm sure you guys have been sitting on zoom at school all day um so first things first we're going to do the bounce juggling so if you were with me last time I'm coach Andy again uh, we're going to start with bounce juggling. So I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll get after it. Okay. Have a look. So you take your ball, okay? You're just going to bounce it and then juggle it. Bounce it and then juggle it. If you can do two or three in a row, that's fine too. So I can go bounce, juggle, bounce, juggle, bounce, juggle, bounce, juggle. Okay. Totally up to you. Go ahead and make it happen. Get some juggling going. Okay. I can't do it. Don't say you can't do it. Always say you can do it. Try as good, as hard as you can, okay? If you mess it up, it's all good. Oh, there was one. Good job. Nice job, Boston. Keep going, everybody. Piper, try to bounce the ball and then kick it while it's after it bounces, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's weird that I can see your name. I know. <laughs> so you just drop the ball and then you and then as it's bouncing, you try to oh nice one, uh Matthew Crow. Up there, bud. Nice, and then I see that that uh, Ryan, he, he's not bouncing it. If you don't need to bounce it, don't don't feel like you need to, but if you need to bounce it, you should bounce it, okay? So do whatever whatever is comfortable for you, okay? Nice job, everybody. Seeing some good ones. Okay, good, everyone stop your ball. You can put your foot on it, you can hold it, you can do whatever you want, just make sure you can see, okay? So now I'm seeing lots of good stuff out of all of you. Let's just see this. So watch me, okay? Um, I'm seeing some of you getting a little frustrated. Don't get frustrated. It's hard. That's why we're practicing. Okay. So if I go like this and I take it and I throw the ball down, it's going to be really hard. Just try to start from here, kind of drop it and then kick it up and catch it, drop it and then kick it up and catch it. Did you notice I used my right foot and my left foot? Try to do both. When you kick it, you don't want your foot to be like a floppy fish. Okay. You want your foot to to be a little bit firm, okay? So when I actually hit the ball, it comes back up to me. If I have a floppy fish, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? So it's there, 
and then you try to kick it up to yourself, okay? About another minute or two, make it happen. Let's do some juggles. That a boy, Vinny. Nice. I'm not responsible if anything in your house gets hit with the ball. I'll just say that right now. So try to keep, try to keep it under control. Good work, everybody. Keep going, Joaquin. I accidentally um, knocked down one of my foam panels. Oof. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a dangerous sport sometimes when you're playing in the house. Keep going, everybody. You're doing great. Nice job, Boston. Keep working, everybody. One more minute. 30 seconds, actually. 30 seconds. Good job. One, two, three. All right, good. Stop there. Soccer ball. Put it down. We're not going to need it for a second. We're going to do some hopping, some jumping, okay? We're going to do a bunch of different kinds of jumping. So the first one, I just want to see everyone pick either foot, just jumping up and down on one foot. Go ahead. Jumping up and down on one foot. You pick. Nice. Okay, now switch feet. Okay, good. Stop there. So I want to see you do this now. So you're going to be jumping on one foot again, but I want to watch you try to do this. So I'm going to do a little demo. So let's say I choose my left foot. So instead of just jumping normal, I want you to see how fast, whatever your foot hits the ground, how fast can you get it back off the ground? So you're trying to like touch the ground for zero, zero seconds. You just want to go boom, 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 really fast. Okay. Right foot first. Ready? Go. How fast can you get off the ground? Fast, 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 fast. Nice. Come on, Vinny. Good work. Other foot, other foot. Fast you can go. Nice, Callan. Good work, everybody. Good, stop there. All right. Now you're gonna need your two items, okay? These are gonna, these are gonna come in handy. We're gonna do some jumping again with one foot, okay? You can land on two feet, but you're gonna jump with one. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Watch me, take your two items, okay? I'm gonna put one right here, all right? Then I'm gonna jump as far as I can, okay? Off of one foot and land. Then I take my other item and I put it right where I landed. So then what do you think I'm gonna do next? Any ideas? Jump again? Yes. Try so to be your record. Foot, and I'm gonna to try to beat my record. So try to get past that. You want to take one foot, boom, I beat it, I move it up, okay? Go ahead and do that. Let's see if you can, if you can set, your, set a record and beat it a couple times. So go ahead, I'll give you about 30 seconds to do that with your left or right foot, you decide. And then we'll switch feet. So remember, you want to jump off of one foot and land on two feet. So you pick which foot you want to jump off of, and then you land on both. Events. Once you've done one foot like two or three times, try your other foot. Vinny, did you break something? Okay, keep going. Okay, good. Everyone come back to your screen. Joaquin, did you beat your score, bud? Three times? Well done. All right, I have a question for um, Alexis. If you can unmute your screen, what would something you could do to, to help yourself jump further or, or you know, be, do a better jump? Um, maybe like you can pat it jumping and like at home, you can pat it like jumping and trying to beat your skull. Okay, perfect. So you could do this. And, and I always say, people ask, how do you get faster? How do you jump higher? You by jumping and running, okay? So you have to do this stuff to, in order to get better at it. Another way I think I saw a lot of you guys doing, 
uh, guys and girls doing, bending your knees a little bit and using your arms to pump a little bit too. And then the second part of jumping, we talked about this last week, is about landing. So try to land as soft as possible, okay? So we're gonna do it one more time. Do, do it twice with each foot and then come back to your screen and, we'll, and we'll, uh, we'll change it up. Okay, go ahead, hurry up. Two times, two with the left, two with the right. Land nice and soft. Nice, Harper. Try to land, try to stick that landing. You don't wanna move after you land. Whoa, Ella, Ella just jumped into my computer screen, it looked like, that was awesome. Keep going, Grant, far as you can, big man. Well done. Good job, everybody. Once you're done, come back. We'll, we'll change it up. Oh, it's Sophie and Sydney again. Good to see you too. You're wearing matching outfits this time. I like that. Okay. We're going to go back with the ball again. We're going to use the bottom of our foot. Okay. Um, if you look at me, I'm wearing these cleats or uh, like turf shoes. Okay. So I have the little things in the bottom of my shoe. If you're barefoot or if you're wearing tennis shoes, no problem. You can still use the bottom. So all we're going to do is start off like this. Have a look. You're going to take your ball. Okay. Bottom of your foot. Very simple. Okay. You're just going to roll it from one side to the other. And I, it's actually not that simple. I just meant uh, not too hard to explain. Okay. So you're just going to roll it and stop it. Roll it and stop it. Just using the bottom of your foot. Okay. Just trying to get used to getting it one side to the other. All right. Go ahead. Try that out. And then if you're like Ryan and, you, and you're comfortable, you can do it a little faster. If you're not comfortable, you can do it as slow as, as you need to, okay? Good stuff, Vinny. Keep rolling, everybody, keep rolling. Ooh, Jackson L, good job, buddy. Boston, try to use the bottom. There you go, bud, good work. Good stuff, Piper. And I also like your sister with the roller coaster thing back there. That's awesome. Broden, keep going, big man. Broden, bend your knees a little bit. Good. Stop there, everybody. Okay. Now let's get your items again. Okay. Put them about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more. So you're going to try to challenge yourself to try to roll from one, okay, all the way to the other. Okay, one all the way to the other. So, so not just little rolls like this, okay? You're gonna try to roll it all the way out, all the way out, all the way up, all the way up, okay? So stick those out a little bit wider than your shoulders. See if you can roll it to those. And then just like we were talking about earlier, start slow, speed up when you get comfortable. Ready, go ahead. Excuse me. Nice. Good work. Seen a lot of people with their knees not bent. They're kind of standing straight up. Try to bend your knees a little bit. Be, be uh, in an athletic position as some may call it. Keep going everybody. Good work. Good, stop there. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the pullback. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the pullback. It's very similar to what we just did, okay? But now instead of just going like this in front of our body, we're gonna kind of go forward and backwards. So I'm gonna show you one. Uh, you can practice on your own a little bit and then we'll move on. So I'll show you one with, with each foot, okay? So here's a pullback from the front, all right? The ball's in front of me, I pull it back. And I get it on the other side, okay? Same thing if I'm facing this direction, pull it back and I get it on the other side, okay? So you're just trying to simply get it under you and roll it back behind you, okay? Go ahead, just practice those a little bit. Main idea being you don't want the ball to go super far away. Go ahead, make it happen. See some pullbacks, nice.
Raylan, let's see some pullbacks, huh? <laughs> there you go. Good work. And then I like how some of you are kind of changing directions and going, going all around. You can dribble around a little bit too. Ooh, Ella has turf. That's big time. Keep going, Tass. Okay, stop right there. I'm gonna give you something to do. We're gonna do two, we're gonna do it twice, okay? We're gonna see how many you can do in a row for 30 seconds, you're gonna try to keep your score, okay? Um, everyone, give me a little thumbs up. All right, perfect, check it out. Here's what you're gonna do. Get your items out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna have my ball here. I'm gonna try to do a pullback and stop it before it goes too far away, okay? So I'm gonna go pullback, then I get to here, pullback, then I get to here, pullback, get to here, pullback, here, pullback. So I'm trying to keep score six, seven, eight, nine, ten, okay? So I'm gonna do as many as I can in the 30 seconds and try to keep score of what that was, okay? Um, if the ball goes really far away, it still counts. It's just gonna take you longer. So you wanna to try to keep it nice and under control, okay? If you can use your left and your right foot, if you just like one foot better than the other, that's okay too. So 30 seconds, I'll tell you when to go and when to stop. Try to keep score. Ready? Everyone should be standing, prepared, ready to roll, set, go. Thirty seconds, as many pullbacks as you can get. Oh, nice. Good try, Callan. You're doing well. Stop. All right. So that's your new record to beat. Take take a breather. We'll I got take 50. 50? That's big time. All right. Remember your score because we're going to do it again and we're going to try to beat that score. And if you beat your score, we're going to do a celebration. Okay. Can I use the bathroom quickly? If, if you ever need to go use the bathroom to take a sip of water, no worries. All right. You can go. It's all you. Just letting you know, though, we will keep going. Um, just we're going to plow through. Okay. We're going to do it again. Um, one thing I noticed was a lot of you were doing a good job of, of turning your hips quick. You want to get your hips quickly turned around after you pull it back. Okay. So, so round two, can you beat your score? Ready? I'll give you five seconds to get in position. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Keep going, everybody. Ooh, keep it. Oh, there you go. Nice job. Keep going. Sophie and Sydney, killing it. Good job, girls. Keep going, everyone. Keep going, Callan. Nice job. Good stuff, Ryan. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Time. Anyone beat their score? If you beat your score, unmute yourself. We'll have a we'll have a little celebration. Yeah! Woo! Yes. Yes. Yeah. Good work. That a boy. Okay. That a, that a boy, Joaquin. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna leave our ball again. Okay. And we're gonna do something that I don't know if you guys will be able to do this. This one's really hard. Okay, leave your ball. Can anyone do a crab walk? You can? Okay, perfect. I'll show you an example. Okay. So you go like this, feet on the ground, hips on the ground, and then I come up like a crab. Okay. So I can go forward and I can go backwards. Okay. Here's what you're going to do take your two items, put them about, I don't know, seven steps apart. So I'll go like this one, two, three, four. I'm just going to stay in my screen. Let's say that's seven. And I'm going to, I'm going to start the timer and you're going to do this. Start at one, grab walk as fast as you can, stop, 
and then go backwards to the other one, okay? So get your items set up and I'll get the clock ready. And then we'll, we'll make this one a little bit harder in a second. <clears throat> Everyone ready? Set? Oh, I forgot to add. Every time you go from one to the other and then back, so you have a starting cone. Whenever you get back to that starting cone, that's one. See how many times you can do it. Ready, set, go. Oh, nice. Go fast, 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 fast. Good work. And you don't have to turn around. Remember, you can just crab walk backwards and forwards. Keep going. You're about halfway there. 20, 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going, keep going. This one's tiring, I know. Three, two, one. Time. Who's tired? I'm tired just watching you guys do that. Okay, we're going to do that one two more times. The second time... Just gonna do it regular again. Then the third time we're gonna get a little crazy, okay? Take your rest. Reminder, have a look. Have a look at me. When you go from here all the way to here, you don't have to turn around. You can just crab walk backwards, okay? So you can just go forward, back and forward, back. Woo! I'm wiped after that. Ready? I've got a question. Yes, sir. Is it when you start at the first place you go to, when you go to the other side and back, does that count as a point or does it count when you reach the other thing? Yeah, okay. So however you were keeping score the first time is what you should do. But what I was, what I was asking you to do is this. So if I start here and I go to this one, and then when I get back to this one, that's one point, okay? That, then I go okay. Then I come back, two points. That's what I did. Awesome. If you did it, if you did it the other way, where just every time you got to a cone, you get a point, no worries. Ready, set, go. Come on, fast, fast, fast. Oh, you guys are good at this. Good work. Oh. Awesome. I think Grant is at a soccer field right now. That's big time, buddy. 10 seconds left. Keep going. Keep going. The blow up mattress is in your way, Andrew. Three, two, one. Stop there. Good work. All right. So now here's what we're going to do for the third one. This one's less about speed and more about control. So you're going to use your ball to crab walk this time. Watch me. You're going to try to go around your cones. Okay for 30 seconds and not drop your ball, okay? So have a look. You're gonna put your ball like this. You're gonna to try to crab walk around your cones, okay? You can go forward or backwards and see if you can do it the whole 30 seconds around your cone, okay? So I'll tell you when to start and stop. Again, not about speed, it's about control and not trying to drop your ball, okay? Also, Tass, I just saw in the comments that you have a puppy. I'm happy for you. That's big time. All right, ready? Get your ball, 30 seconds. Vinny, I have a question. Do we wanna drop the ball or no? No. No, sir. Ready, go. Keep going, you guys are killing it. Oh no, I think I saw someone drop. Oh no, that's just someone's head. Keep going, Ryan, come on, buddy. Good work, girls. Oh, time. Anyone not drop their ball? Good work. All right. So now you're gonna need um, the thing that you're gonna pass the ball against, okay? Whether it's like your couch or the wall or whatever it is, um, you're gonna need that, okay? And mine is behind me, so I'm gonna actually be 
trying to talk to you, but kicking it the other way. So bear with me here. Okay. Um, we're just going to work on some passing. So it looks like this. You can do this on your own. Once I show you, you stand, you can stand as close or as far as you want. The further you go, the harder it'll be. If you get really close, it'll be hard too. You want to be kind of at a medium distance. Okay. All you're going to do to begin with is just pass the ball against the ball, control the ball. Okay. So take as many touches as you want in between. You're just passing it against the wall, control it, and pass it again. Go ahead. Joaquin has a cat. Love that. Go ahead, everybody. Just, just pass in a little bit. I'm going to watch you. Nice. And then, hey, Bella, instead of just kicking it every time, let's control it in between. So try to stop the ball before you kick it again. Okay? So you don't want to just go pass, 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 pass. You want to go pass, control, pass, control. Okay? Good work, everybody. Nice job, Bennett. Way to control it. All right, everyone come back to your screen really quickly, okay? So I'm seeing a lot of people working really hard and having, having a good time. One thing we wanna think about when we're passing, okay? For today, there's, a, there's about a million different ways to pass the ball. If you watch some of the best players in the world, they use every single part of their foot to pass it with, it's crazy. They use their toe, their heel, their shoelace, their bottom of their foot, everything. But for today, we're gonna work on passing with the inside of your foot, okay? So that's right here, okay? The big part of our foot right there. And when you pass, you wanna to try to have your foot looking like this, okay? See how my toes are kind of pointed up a little bit and my heels down, passing like that. So I hit it, it kind of looks like a golf club or a hockey stick, okay? So you want it to look like that when you're passing. So now when you go and pass against the wall, try to use the inside of your foot. Okay, go ahead. Either foot for now is fine. Try to use them both if you can. Go ahead. Make it happen. So instead of your toe, use that inside. And then make sure you control it in between each one. Nice. Seeing some really good ones. Joaquin, it looks like you're typing me something serious right now. Keep going, keep passing. More passing, less typing. Oh, you're using your left, muy bien. Woo. Okay, stop there, everyone put your foot on your ball. Now here's what I wanna see. Using your right foot only, inside of your right foot, passing against the wall for 30 seconds, and then we'll change it up, okay? Ready? 30 seconds inside of your right foot only. Ready, go. Let's see how many you can get. But you gotta control it every time too. Nice. Good. Good stuff, Jackson. Inside though, Jackson, inside. Good. If you hit it a little harder, it'll come back a little quicker and maybe you can get more. Keep going, everybody. Good stuff, Boston. Good, stop there. Let's change to our left foot. Left foot, inside of our left foot. Go ahead. Yeah, 41. Muy bien, keep going. Inside of your left foot. Remember, you wanna to try to make it shaped like a, like a golf club or a hockey stick. Nice, inside of that foot. Good stuff, Ryan. Good, stop there. So now we're gonna try this. Try to alternate. So you go right foot, control, left foot, control. Right foot, control, all with the inside for now. Just right, left, right, left. Go ahead. I'm righty, lefty. I can use both of them very well. Love that, keep going. Go ahead. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Good work. 
Keep going. Righty, lefty, righty, lefty. And then control it in between each time. You guys are doing great. Good job, Bennett. Stuff, Harper. And stop there. So now 30 seconds. Don't pass it with the inside of your foot ever. Use something different. So your laces, your heel, maybe a little toe poke, maybe uh, the outside of your foot. Okay, you decide, just don't use the inside. Go ahead, try it. Let's see anything you want, be creative. Ooh, I saw a little, a little uh, pinky toe by somebody. That was big time. Anything you wanna do outside of the foots by Ryan, that's big time, buddy. Love it. Keep going fast. Come on, Piper. Nice job. I should scroll over, my bad. There we go, Martin. Good job, everybody. Got five seconds. Keep going. And stop right there. Okay. So we've got two more activities to do, okay? So if you've been following along with what we've been doing, we've been doing um, like a soccer skill and then we've been doing some fitness and then we've been doing a soccer skill and some fitness. The next fitness thing, do you guys ever do the, um, do you guys ever do the, uh, like the would you rather things at gym class where you pick something and then you do a, a thing? Okay. So we're gonna, I, I was just watching one of those. We're gonna do the karate, uh, the karate version of that, okay? So the one where you do punch, punch, kick, okay? So you're gonna do punch, punch, and then kick with your left, punch, punch, kick with your right. We're gonna do it three times for 30 seconds. So I'll show you it. And I see you guys are already doing some of it. So it's gonna look like this, okay? You're here, it's punch, punch, kick. Same thing, punch, punch, kick, okay? So you go punch, punch, then kick with your right, kick with your left. Um, one thing I want you to do, try to throw the punch as fast as you can. And when you kick, try to kick something that's as high as your head. Okay. If you can. So we're going to go for 30 seconds. How fast can you do it? Okay. Um, I will tell you when to start. I will tell you when to stop. We'll take a little break in between and we'll go from there. Uh, also second piece, do not punch or kick anyone. It's just in the air. We're trying to do this for fitness. All right. Ready, set, go. Punch, punch, kick. Keep going. Nice, and then see if you can kick nice and high. Ooh, I saw some, some of you doing that. Well done, nice and high. Yes. Woo! Oh, Sophie and Sydney do karate. Love that. Keep going, everybody. Everybody. That was 30 seconds. Good work. We'll take 30 seconds break. Now, this time when you do the kicks, we're going to change it up slightly. Okay. You're, you're still going to do punch, punch. And then I want you to turn sideways and kick like that. Punch, punch, sideways, kick like that. Okay. Punch, punch, sideways, kick. Okay. Matthew Crow has a fish and a frog, just in case anyone wants to know. All right. Ready? Punch, punch, sideways, kick. Three, two, Oh, Kaylin, the little sweep. I like that. Trying to get that leg nice and high. Get that leg nice and high. Punch, punch, high kick. Ooh, nice job, Boston. Matt's iPad, she is kicking really high. I love that. Punch, punch, high kick. Punch, punch, high kick. Keep going, five seconds. Keep going, come on, come on, come on. Stop there. Good work. We'll do one more. Okay. Now this one, a little bit harder. Sort of like, remember the, the one foot jumping we did earlier? Now you're going to go punch, punch, and you're going to try to kick while you jump. Okay. So it looks like this. Punch, punch, and then you jump and kick at the same time. Punch, punch, jump and kick at the same time. Not easy. That's called a jump front kick. Just a little tidbit for you guys there. It's called a jump front kick, okay? From my expert, Sophie and Sid. I already know that because I do Taekwondo from self-defense. 
you guys should, I'll talk to Peter and Lisa. You guys should be leading these classes next time. All right. I'll, I'll get one of you guys to, to coach some of these classes. All right. You guys are, are awesome at this. Hey, I know Taekwondo too. All right. Hey, I'm in. Um, okay. Ready? Last one. Can we do jump kicks at the end? Set? Go. Oh, yeah. Gabe, that is awesome, brother. Keep going, everybody. Good job, Raylan. 10 seconds. Ooh, Jackson, that was great, Big Ben. Good stuff, Broden. Four seconds. Stop right there. All right. So now, if you were, if you were with me last time, we're going to end with a little game. By the way, if you need a little sip of water, no worries. Go ahead and make that happen. Um, if you were with me last time, we're going to end with the same game, but a different version, okay? It's called Minute to Win It, all right? We're going to do it twice. Um, you are going to do a skill or like a little obstacle course, kind of a, a, a combination of skills for one minute and see how many times you can do it, okay? I'll show you what we're going to do. So basically it's this. You're going to pass it against the wall with your left foot, pass it against the wall with your right foot, do two pullbacks, and then that's one, and then you, you start all over. So I'll show you how it's done, okay? Have a look. So it looks like this. How much days of the week do we have um, this class? One second, I'll answer that in one second. Okay, so have a look, so you go. Pass, control, pass, pullback, pullback, and that would be one. And then I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna see how many times I can do that. So you go pass, pass, pullback, pullback. Okay, how many times can you do that? Um, whoever asked that question, ask that at the end and, we'll, and, I, and I'll, I'll give you the answer, okay? Um, so everyone else just practice that one time, just practice the little pattern, pass, pass, pull back, pull back, and then we'll do the minute to win it competition. We'll do that two times, okay? Go ahead. Are we starting? Not yet. Nope. We're just practicing just so you're, you're, you're understanding how it's, how it, how it goes. Oh. So pass, pass, and then you do two pullbacks. Okay. I have a dictionary. <laughs> All right. Everyone ready to, to, to do the competition? So what you need to do in your head right now is think how many times do I think I could do this? Maybe it's five, maybe it's 10, whatever it is, that's what you're trying to beat. That's the score you're trying to beat. One minute to win it, okay? That's why it's called minute to win it. I'm gonna start the timer here. Let me get it up just so everyone can see. We got, I'm gonna get one minute on the stopwatch here, okay? Ready? Get in your places, get set, go. I'll hold it up in a little bit for you. Keep going, everybody. Under control the whole time. That'll make you go faster. So you go pass, pass, pull back, pull back. Passing with both feet and pulling back with both feet if you can. If you like one foot way more than the other, I get it. Keep going. You're at 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Keep going. Oh, nice, Bennett. Keep going, you're 30 seconds in. Good work, everybody. Go, 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 go. Come on, Bella, keep going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Did anyone beat their score? If you did, you don't need to tell me. You need to turn your yes. mic on and celebrate. I did 20. Yes. yes. Yeah. Woo. I got 22. All right, well done. So whatever you did, that's your new score. And we're going to do it one more time, and you need to beat that score. Okay? I, okay, by the way, my answer. I did. I was going to do 15, but I did 22. That, that was what I was trying to beat. 
Love it. By the way, my question was, how much days of the week do we have this? Ryan, when we're done after this next one, I'll answer that, okay? Okay. Keep it, keep it in your head. 15, but I got 23. Well done, everybody. So now that you, hey, you just raised the bar super high. I was trying to get 15, but I got more than 15. Not bad. So now you guys have raised the bar high. We're going to do it again, and you're going to try to beat your score. Here's one thing that's going to help you. Keeping the ball under control is super important, right? So you want to make sure that you're not kicking it crazy and you're not doing pullbacks really far away. Try to keep the ball as close as you can, okay? One more minute. Can we beat our scores? I'm about to start the timer in five, four, three, two, go. Got a better timer for you this time. It's actually counting down. Come on, everybody. You can beat your score this time. Keep going. Nice job, Bennett. Beautiful pullback there. Good stuff, Boston. Come on, Alexis. Keep going. Job, Piper. You hit the you hit the uh, roller coaster. Halfway point. Thirty seconds. 23 seconds. Ooh, beautiful pullback, Jackson. We got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Yeah. Anyone get your score if you did? Celebrate. Yeah. Oh, I see Ryan. He's hyped up. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Anyone's yeah. loving it? Yeah. No. I, I, I got 22 and I got 44. Well done. Okay. Good work by all of you today. Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, okay. So, Ryan, can you guys see this? Yes. Okay, so Ryan had a question. He asked, see it. How often, he asked, how often do we do this, okay? Um, so for you guys, for your age group, U9 and U10, there's a bunch of stuff coming up this week. So I think I copied it correctly off the, off the site, but make sure you go check the website or your team snaps. Um, Tuesday, which is tomorrow at 2 o'clock, it's not going to be a physical session like this. It's going to be a player challenge, which is like uh, really fun with Coach Matt and Coach Delaney. They're going to have a game, like a video of a game, and you're going to try to figure out what's going to happen or what the players are doing. It's kind of like thinking about soccer in a different way. I'm at school. Then on Wednesday will be another one of these, and then the technical session is very similar <laughs> to this, just without some of the uh, some of the like physical stuff. Thursday, there's another one of these. Friday, there's another one of these, and Saturday, there's another one of these. So there's. Wait, but I've got a question. Yes, I have to, I okay. have to get out of school early because my was... school ends at three, not two. Um, so um, yeah, I have the same. Mine in that like three forty-five. Okay. Tuesday, Tuesdays, um, Tuesdays I can do it. Wednesdays, Wednesdays I can, and Fridays I can't. But Saturday, Thursday, and Tuesdays and Mondays I will be there. Okay, let, me, let me let me let me give you guys another little piece of information here because you guys keep bringing up so many good points. Another helpful part for you is that these will all be recorded and put on YouTube on our uh, on the Salvo YouTube. So that way, if you get your parents to to pull one of those up for you, you could do this a different time. So say your school's not done yet, or um, you know you've got something else going on during the live session you could go back and, and watch the recording and, and act like you're live as well, okay? Um, so even if you if it conflicts with your school or, or family or life or whatever, you can go back and, and re-watch it or redo it. Um, but also, if there's five or six of them in the week and you, and you can make four, that's still pretty sweet, okay? Um, anyone else have any questions or anything? No.